One of the world's largest collections of atomic and nuclear artifacts is housed right here in Albuquerque at the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History. But they are running out of room, and they hope you can help them out. News 13's Rachel Knapp explains. A tense political, ideological, and nuclear buildup between the world's superpowers, the U.S. and the Soviet Union, marks the Cold War. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And for people wanting to get a glimpse into that era, the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History in Albuquerque is the place to visit. And a huge part of our collection is from the Manhattan Project and the Cold War era, just because we tell the story of the atomic age from early developments to today's peaceful uses. But the museum is running out of room for all of their artifacts. Our museum has the largest collection of unclassified nuclear weapons in the entire world, and currently we only have one-fifth of them on display for public viewing. So the museum is holding an online crowdfunding campaign to raise money to help build a 5,000 square foot specialized storage building or a museum artifact center right outside the museum. The museum artifact center will be visible storage, visual storage that we will be able to properly house all of these artifacts. Large Cold War weapons and casings like the submarine rocket and the MK-15 nuclear bomb will finally be put on display after being kept in storage for almost 20 years. Now it's not an exhibition within the museum, but this is something that we'll be able to have behind the scene tours. For anyone who comes to the museum, they'll be able to learn in an even more in-depth manner just beyond the walls of the museum by even going into the Museum Artifact Center. The building is expected to cost more than $800,000. So far, they've raised almost half of that. This one is an easy, anyone can donate. Anyone could give $5, $10. Um, of course, we would accept the larger gifts as well. Rachel Knapp, KRQE, News 13. That project will also include a memorial to honor those who served in the Cold War. The online fundraiser runs until June 11th. We've posted the information at krqe.com.